Help it. From punching to dog walking, we count 11 ridiculous arcade games from all over the world. Number 11. Inu no Asanpo. Do you wish you had a dog of your own? Maybe your landlord won't let you have pets, or maybe your parents have said no to you a million and one times, or maybe Nintendogs just doesn't cut it anymore. Well, this is the game for you. In English, it translates to dog walking, and that's not an abstract term like Final Fantasy. The game is all about giving you, yes, you, the authentic dog walking experience without all the allergens. But seriously, I can't imagine why anyone would want to walk a pretend dog on a treadmill. It just doesn't make any sense to my big dumb American brain. There's gotta be something to it. I feel left out that people get to enjoy this, but I can't fathom why. Or maybe I'm the crazy person and I just can't have fun unless I'm hacking something to death or blowing its brains out. Number 10. Sonic Blast Heroes Imagine a strength testing game, except that in a bunch of weird rules and graphics and you have Sonic Blast Heroes. Basically, it's a boxing game, except without dodging or blocking, and if you go to Taito's website, they're advertising a brand new version. Except all they added was some safety features, because some dumbass got hurt by this. Which may seem shocking, but I've seen a person break their wrist on a game like this before. But hey, catastrophic wrist injuries are totally worth it for getting a chance to punch a T-Rex in the face. Though if you ask me, boxing a T-Rex is kind of unfair. They got those tiny little arms. They don't have any jabs or hooks to throw at you. They should make the machine more dangerous to give the T-Rex a fighting chance. Number 9. Cow Milking Game In this game, you insert your coin, sit on a stool, and milk some fake but oddly realistic looking udders. Not really sure how you get a high score though. Maybe it's for speed? All I know is I've milked a cow, and this doesn't really teach you how to properly milk a cow. It's meant for fun. I know what I think of fun. I think of gripping and tugging tubes made of rubber under a hunk of fiberglass and metal. Don't you? I think it's missing a couple of things though. It really needs a big methane tube to just spew gas out into your face to simulate the full cow experience. Number 8. Turn Up Strength Tester This one's from Soviet era Russia and it's basically another strength testing game. Except instead of hitting a punching bag, you pull on a lever thing. Of course, since it's from a bygone era, there's no fancy graphics or any graphics at all apart from a digital score display. The weirdest thing about this is that it's based on an old Russian folktale where a kid can't pull a turnip out of the ground and that's why it's called the Turnip Strength Tester. Number 7. Amusement Washing Machine So instead of shoving your clothes in the machine and forgetting about it for an hour, this washing machine requires you to complete a game in order to get your clothes clean. If you suck at the game, you need to insert more coins, otherwise your clothes won't be properly washed. I could see this being a fun thing to do in the laundromat, but honestly, I'd rather just mess around on my phone and not risk the whole process of it taking longer than it needs to or having to pay more money. I love a world where everything's fun, but not at a price. Number 6. The Tablecloth Hour you know that party trick where you set up a table and then pull the tablecloth out at just the right speed at the right angle so all the cups and plates stay pretty much where they were? Well, Japan turned it into an arcade game for some reason. I admit I'd play this if I saw it, but I'd only do so once and then never again. I'm afraid I'd get addicted to it, then I'd try to do it in real life and probably kill myself somehow. You know, a steak knife through the chest or something nasty like that. Number 5. Wall Street. No, it's not based on the movie, and it's not a number crunching math game either. It's a game where you try and catch suicidal stockbrokers as they jump out from the windows of a tall building. I don't know why anybody tried to catch them, they ruined our economy. But then it gets weirder. Afterwards, you run around in maze like levels as a stockbroker, shooting lightning bolts from your hands and collecting money and girls. It's like a stockbroker took a fistful of amphetamines and decided to make a game based on his own life, at least how he sees it. Or maybe it's a really abstract cry for help. Number 4. Marine Catcher. Those claw games you see all the time where you get stuffed animals are kinda shitty. It always feels like it's less about skill and more about the machine choosing to let you win and even when you do win you get a 40 cent plushy toy that you really didn't want anyway. And the frickin' iPad's never real, it's always full of jelly beans. Ah, uh, but luckily Marine Catcher fixes that last part. Instead of getting more trash, you can catch some dinner in the most unorthodox way since dynamite fishing. That's right, this crane machine has live lobsters for you to catch. Of course, since the crane moves so slowly and the lobsters move fast, it's almost impossible to catch him, but hey, it's dinner, right? Sure beats stale jelly beans out of an iPad box. Number 3. Sukomi you see Gips Nice Sukomi. Is that right? Slapstick comedy is one of the earliest types of comedy. It's right up there with fart and dick jokes. But for the first time, you get to play a slapstick comedy game! The hapless man watching the machine you play on needs to get slapped by you in order to proceed through the game. How do you lose, you ask? I don't have a clue, but maybe not slapping him hard enough or something? There's not much in the way of information about this game in English, and I'm not even certain I have the right name for it, but either way, I know enough about it to know that I have no clue how it's a game people would want to pay for. 
Number 2 Oh, uh, not again. Cho Chabudai Gashi. Also known as Super Table Flip, it's based on a Japanese thing to where if a person, usually a father, gets angry, he flips the dinner table over, ruining it for everyone. Mayamoto described this as an old-fashioned Japanese father act of destroying a family, so naturally you want to turn this into an arcade game, right? Obviously, it's not made by Mayamoto himself, but still it's a pretty ridiculous game that not even the Japanese enjoy playing. It's about on the same level as making a game based on elder abuse. Number 1 Boonga Boonga this game is made by South Korea, designed for Japan. So obviously, it involves turning your fingers into the shape of a gun and shoving it up an animatronic anus. Oh, but that's not all it includes. You can also slap that ass. And actually, that's it. That's the entirety of the game. Angle fingering and butt spanking. Then at the end of the game, you get a card that rates you on, and I quote this, sexual behaviors. People who do especially well get a small plastic poop. So what did you think about these ridiculous arcade games? Do you know any that are even more ridiculous? Let us know in the comments and I'll see you next time.